Hello! I thought I'd show you how to take the thumb stitches off of a stitch holder and put them onto double point needles and work up a little thumb. Uh, the first thing I'll do is take my stitch holder and open it. And I'll slide the stitches towards the open sharp end, but not allow them to fall off. And then I'll pick up one of my double point needles and I'll insert that right into the first stitch on the stitch holder as if I'm going to purl it. So from the back to the front and slide it off onto that knitting needle that's in my right hand. And we'll do that for two stitches because I don't have a ton of stitches for this tiny thumb. We need to do it in even numbers. I'll do two on the first needle. I'll do four onto the second needle in the same way. I'll get my third needle for the remaining two stitches and slide them on there in the same manner as if I'm purling. And once all the stitches are off the stitch holder, set it aside. And then your tube will work around in a triangle like this. So you'll pick up that last fourth needle, put it in your right hand, pick up the work, find the first stitch, and you're going to join your yarn into this stitch just by knitting it into it. Get that yarn tail from a fresh ball and put it between the first and the third needle. Let me show you exactly where it is. It's a little tangled here, but between the first and the third needle is where you'll lay that new yarn. You'll pick that new yarn up to work with it. I wrap it around my finger. You pick it up in however is comfortable for you. And then you just start knitting around in a circle on those double point needles. So we've got two on our first needle that we'll knit into. After that first stitch, pick up the tail and kind of hold it against the needle so it doesn't slip away from you. And then slip that stitch off the left and onto the right needle. Knit the second stitch off that first needle And that first needle is free, so you'll switch it into your right hand from your left hand, pick up your work, and locate the next needle in line. Be careful not to pick up the wrong needle. Pick up the next one in line for knitting with the stitches. That will be the one with four stitches on it here, and we'll just knit around those four stitches. And then at the end of that needle, you can switch it back into your right hand to work. Rotate to the next needle, the last needle that has two stitches on it, and work right into those. That needle is empty again, so switch it over into your right hand and come around. Now you'll be able to close that gap and join the round. So bring your first needle in line with that last needle and just work around. 
since this stitch has the yarn that was joined it can get a little bit larger than your other stitches just pull the tail to tighten that up I'll show you how to do that now it tightens it up when you pull it and then continue to work around on those three needles until you get back to the beginning of the round. And at the end of that round, in the beginning of the next round, you'll see that it's joined with just one little strand but as you work around the seam will disappear and you'll get a tube just like this hand if you'd like to watch I will go ahead and do that for you and fast forward and I will see you at the end of the little thumb Now we've come up to where I need to do my little thumb decreases and make it smaller. So I'll knit two together around for one row, round. Knit those last two stitches together and I finished knitting thumb. All that is left to do is to cut the yarn and run it through those stitches to get it off the needles. So I'll leave a little tail so I can weave it in, cut the yarn, bring in a darning needle, Place that tail through the darning needle. And then I'll pick up the work and go back in the same order I was working. So back to that first needle and thread this yarn through each stitch left on the needles as if I'm purling. So from the back to the front and slip it off the knitting needle onto the darning needle. Set the needles aside as you finish with them and pull a stitch onto that tail so that it won't run. In the same order that you were knitting, so turn counterclockwise and go through two stitches on this needle, slip it off, and set that needle aside. Pull the darning needle through those two stitches and then turn again in the same motion so it's not twisted and slip that last stitch onto the darning needle and then sew it onto the tail. That holds the remaining stitches in place 
and makes a little thumb end. And as you see, you can't see the seam at all. There'll be a little bit to weave in at the base of the thumb, which you can do with the tail. And you're ready to finish out by weaving in all of those loose ends on your mitten. I hope that that was helpful for you, and I hope you have a wonderful day.